The goal of this, remember, is to teach you to build good habits. And that completely fulfills the goal um, of teaching you to write consistently during the semester, build good habits for writing, see if this daily writing thing works for you, if it creates um, um, better fiction. That's the goal. As long as you're fulfilling the goal, like the nuts and bolts don't bother me as much. Um, and you know, if you if you get to the fifty thousand, you're all and you do your reading in class, you're basically getting an A in the class. Um, that's the way I set this up because the first couple of years I tried to grade the finals very rigorously and base a lot on the final, but I don't think that that teaches the right lesson. Basically. If we look at it historically, there'll be one or two of you who are writing publishable material right now. If, so if I were to base it, your grade on that, that would not be right. At the same time saying, telling you, yeah, you're doing great work, here's an A, when you know, your work is years off from getting published, then that's also somewhat doing you a disservice. And so I've transitioned to the, the goal of the class is not to get you published. The goal of the class is to give you all the information you would need and to teach you good habits. And so if you meet the goals of the class, then I'm going to give you the A. Um, and I, I used to worry really um, a lot that you know, everyone would end up getting A's and they get mad at me or something. They never have. They don't even look at it. Um, plus, my class is filled with grad students and PhD students and things. You, you, they're going to have to put up with the fact that a lot of really dedicated people take this class. And so I have no problem giving the entire class A's if you all do that. Now. Um, if you don't hit the 50,000, I'm probably not going to give you a horrible grade unless you just don't try at all. Um, if you do ha have made a serious um, try and a serious effort, um, if I can look through your words and you know things like that, I will still give you a decent grade. Um, someone who tries really hard, you're probably going to end up getting a B. Um, if you don't try very hard at all, then you'll probably get lower than that. But that's kind of how I, 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 I've gone to grading this class. Um, so. In other words, do your readings, come to your writing group every week, that, that gives you a big chunk of it. If you want a guaranteed A, hit your 50,000 words. Um, and that's, uh, that's how I do it. Any questions? Did you, did you have any tricks when you were an inspiring writer to keep yourself motivated to write? Yeah, I, I actually um, will keep track of word counts, even still. Say, so, okay, uh, how much did I do today? And I'll do it across the week. I'll actually also do it in an Excel file. Uh, because what that'll tell me is it'll give me a way to gauge my progress. This is how many hours I wrote, this is how many words I wrote, and this is, um, that gives me the words per hour. And I can see, I know for myself what a good day's writing is, what a weekday's writing is, and I can usually gauge by that looking across the week to see if I've been goofing off and things like that, or if I've been, you know, if I've been dedicated. It just helps keep me motivated. The numbers work real well for me. How do you turn off your internal editor um, I have a lot of practice knowing what I can fix in post, and I have a lot of practice of trying to revise a chapter and letting and having that kill my momentum through the book, so that when I move on, it um, it stops me. And so I don't go back and revise unless it's really a big deal, meaning it's going to kill my momentum worse to not have this fixed. And for me, that generally means unless a character is not working, I just keep going, and I will leave myself notes. It often helps at the top of a chapter. Three, three asterisks followed by, okay, this is what I'm changing for this chapter. This is what I'm trying out. Here's, um, here's something new, and then write that chapter that way and see if I like it. Um, and that might help for you. Um, even if one of my characters isn't working, sometimes they'll say, three asterisks, here I'm trying this personality for this character in this chapter, chapter seven and I'll try it and see if I like it. And if I do, I'll do it for chapter eight and chapter nine, and then I'll be like, okay, I'm getting a feel for this character. By then, your momentum is enough that you'll be like, okay, I can go fix the first chapters later on. Let's just keep going. However, a lot of times I get to the end of chapter seven and say, ah, that didn't work as well. I actually like the old char cha character. I'll go back to it for chapter eight, or I'll try something new for chapter eight. And leaving notes like that self to yourself can really help you because you, you're not worried that you're going to forget to revise it because all the notes are there. And you can try new things out and experiment, predict, experiment, particularly important for this class, where I'm forcing you to kind of keep forward, keep going forward. And so try out new things for a chapter. Say, this chapter I'm going to really try 
being more visual um, or more sensory, um, using all five senses and things like that for, for my descriptions. Um, put that asterisk at the top, and when you get to it, see if you can tell the difference in your revision. Um, it can be really helpful to you. Other questions, concerns, things? Travis. Is it, even after writing for a, a long period of time, does it always feel like a challenge? Or does, I mean, does it get very much easier? Or do you feel like you're always pushing, pushing yourself and challenge? I mean, I think it got easier for me the first few years and then leveled off. It's about the same level of difficulty, would be my guess for myself. Okay. Other questions? To add to that question, so mm -hmm. about how many words have you written once you sort of leveled off? How many words? Um, I would say by. See, it's, I, I, it's kind of an interesting process. Early on, I was just all like, gung-ho, yeah, writer, fun, woohoo! I wasn't even paying attention to think, to revision and things like that. I was just going. Um, and it started to become a challenge, I'd say, at about book three, book three or book four, which is where I transitioned from, yay, gung-ho, fun, to, wow, I'm going to really treat this like my job, and I'm going to keep doing it even past the, the honeymoon period. Um, and I would say by the end of book three, four, so going into book five, I had then basically stabilized. Um, I still don't like revisions. Um, I like moving on to the new thing, but I'm better about them now. That's still the pro part of the process I, um, I hesitate on the most.